Hello everybody, welcome you all again to Robonic Systems Big Microcontroller Video Programming Tutorials. Uh, now let's uh, continue with the LED blinking program that we uh, saw in the last video. Uh, I opened it and then uh, this is the, la the old code that you see. So we are making port uh, B LED uh, go high and low that is making it blink again and again. Uh, this is something uh, blind, right? Uh, we are making it go uh, high and low continuously. There must be some condition, there must be some input uh, uh, to it. Somebody must tell the microcontroller when to go high, high or low. So, uh, now we will add a condition here. Um, we will uh, make a condition like uh, if uh, imagine a switch is connected to the RA0 port, if uh, this switch is on. Uh, my port should go high and low. All right. We shall uh, shall we try implementing that logic? If uh, imagine a switch is connected, I'll repeat it again. Uh, imagine a switch is connected to RA zero. If uh, somebody switches it on, uh, this RB seven and RB six go should go high and low. If somebody switches it off, it should uh, RB seven and RB six become uh, switched off. It should become low. Alright. Now let me implement the logic. We'll see. Now I'm making port A as uh, input. Press A. Is equal to 0 X F F. And remember this uh, compiler uh, uh, doesn't is, is not case sensitive. You can either use uh, caps or uh, you can also use uh, uh, small letter uh, for all the variable declarations. Now I have made a uh, port A S uh, input. Made port A S input, and I will add an if condition. The simple if I am going to say port A dot what what is the pin I want? What is the pin I want here? If port A dot the zeroth pin, that is the first pin, RA zero, uh, pick microcontroller gives you uh, access to individual bits. You can e uh, either use the uh, register as a whole, or you can also use the individual bits. You can uh, use specifically. You can specify uh, uh, specifically as RA zero in the compiler. So that would be F F not port a dot f not means uh, port a's zeroth pin uh, don't confuse it with the f here this is different this is hexadecimal and this is some um, notation that the compiler uses f0 port a dot f0 means uh, uh, port pic 16 f 84 a is port port a zeroth pin that is ra0 f1 means this pin. If uh, RA1 is switched on, uh, our logic will be implemented. So I'll stick with our requirement. It is RA F0. We put B equal to F0. Implement this code, this piece of code. As simple as that. Now compile. Our code has compiled successfully. Now we'll go to simulator. Clear the memory. Load program. Simulation start. Nothing is happening. Why? In uh, our previous program, uh, LED started blinking immediately. Remember the condition we gave here. Port A dot F not should be. Oh, sorry. Uh, it should be equal to one. Uh, remember, you should put double equal to. Uh, single equal to assigns the variable. All right. Then build it again. Again, sorry for the mistake. Let's compile successfully. Simulation stop file clear load start. I'll click here. See, as soon as I give an input there, port B uh, starts going high and low. Now let me stop it. The stopped. Now let me try uh, what if I give port A dot F not. Uh, 
actually this code should also work because uh, port a dot f not uh, default it means it default is true in the loop uh, if you had uh, studied c you would be knowing it just for easy understanding i put double equal to one simulation start yeah our code is running both codes run perfect alright for safety purpose we will add an else loop here else make uh, port b equal to that is because uh, in sometimes we if you switch off uh, if you cut the input to port r a 0 when the port b is high it would uh, maintain uh, the high state uh, uh, the previous high state so it's uh, better to give an if loop and uh, sorry it's better to give an else loop and make port b 0 and also uh, Alright, I will cover that topic later, it may be confusing to you now. We will uh, just again compile it. Again go to pick simulator ID, simulation stop, file, clear memory, load program. Alright. You won't see any difference in the output, but uh, it's a good practice. Start. On. There you go. yes stop the simulation that's it now you uh, implemented a small embedded system actually uh, you have uh, taken the input as from the external world uh, that is a switch uh, button and then you had uh, commanded the microcontroller to go high or low based on the input uh, this is a very simple system uh, but uh, what you learnt here uh, will be very useful in many uh, topics so like we are running it again and again so uh, let me cover the for loop in another uh, lesson uh, alright uh, that's Arun Ujai signing off uh, thank you all bye uh, robotic systems visit us robonics.co.n uh, you can buy your uh, robotics kit and memory system kits for the very cheap price in India thank you all uh, bye